After a very long Saturday at the Corduroy Enduro, we woke up to a brisk, slightly damp Sunday, day number two. The bike sat overnight in the impound. After a 15 minute work period, we roll them up to the starting gate and start them for the very first time, hoping the battery's not dead. Sunday is a shorter day, 142 kilometers or about 88 miles. But after day one, anything at this point is, is a lot. So we're heading into test number one for Sunday. Campers Task Force, we're off! Yeah! Sunday started early, it's about 8.30 in the morning. The sun is still coming up and it is dark in the woods. Although the bike is running mint, the crisp morning air and a two-stroke wrap! <laughs> this natural flowing grass track is feeling good. I'm riding aggressive. Now we're coming into the woods and this is when it got dark. The camera auto adjusts the contrast so it appears much lighter than it actually was. Oh, I slid, slid off the bridge. We're done. Screw the bridge. Why is that even there? I'm lucky that wasn't as bad as it could have been. If there was water, that would have been a problem. These bridges don't get me. It's always a bridge situation at the corduroy for me. It had sprinkled a little bit. Things were slick. And these roots got me. Minor setback in that corner. Staying on the right of the line there, staying out of the slick roots that are becoming exposed. This test went from fast grass track to some technical, oh, tough, tough stuff here. I'm using the bike. Thank you for the pass call there. You know, I do have a throttle and a clutch. Someone did leave a comment like that. Thank you. This is how I'm supposed to be riding the whole time. That's more like it. I hope you have a fresh pair of underwear. Oh, that was a close one. Oh, I found that comment on the pass call. What's this passing noise thing all about? Since when is it not rev bombing behind someone? I think a bird was trying to fly by me. <laughs> That's a good point. I do have a throttle. Like what? That is, what am I doing? What am I trying to do? Woo! <laughs> Look at that, a little improvising there with that line. I don't know what that did for me. Look at these roots. Holy crap. See those boogers? Now, this, again, we're looking at roots. I mean, this is what I do. Look at roots, I look at ruts, study the dirt. Rocks. Thank you. step or throttle in my hand if that's something to say on Sunday I hear I'm things are I'm ripping better I'm riding better <laughs> K 
camper's task force here was 8.6 kilometers or about 5.3 miles. It took me about 18 minutes and I finished 14th overall on that test. 19D. Jinx. Woo, awesome test. I really like that. Scott Sues is next. the gas maybe a little too hard bike is flying around on me rolling onto the throttle helps here because I'm just flying thing is fishtailing and spinning out then it got rocky I had to slow it down and, and settle myself down and I'm getting excited this is a good thing the intensity is here today I misread this. I totally hosed it up. Tom is catching up. I hear him on that four stroke back there. Burned some seconds. Scott and Sue's test here is. 7.2 kilometers are about four and a half miles long. Whoa, I almost tucked the front wheel there. This soil is very sandy and some of the corners are soft. You won't even expect it. And I, I just wash out on some of these. it pointed straight on this corduroy bridge. Could be that guy. I'd have some moments of greatness and then there was just points where I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just lost my flow through here. Some sick clips from Ballistic Films. Check out their YouTube channel and their coverage of the Corduroy Enduro. I started to hear a four stroke behind me and pushing myself, trying to keep it going as fast as I can. That's Philip Cheney, and he must have started a row behind me. That's not the row he's typically on. He must have dropped back a little. Trying to hang with him here, but this mud hole. I, 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 it, I lost control. Scott and Sue's wraps up here. I got 15th in that test, so running still pretty good here. Better finishes than I had on Saturday. And that's with a few bobbles, a few mistakes. So we could improve on that. Now, the next thing here is a 25 kilometer transit section, about 15 and a half miles through Miserable Lake. Now this was a test back in 2019 when I did this. This year it's a transfer and I'm glad for that. It's, it's really wide open. There's these lake crossings that could easily swallow you up properly named Miserable Lake. I mean, it's a fun trail, It's, but it's bony, and it's, at this point, I've gotten my share of riding it. At the end of it is a large river crossing that you have to be very careful. The current is pulling you to the left. You gotta stay along these rocks where it's shallow. Keep your balance and try not to get soaked because it's cold out. It's about 45 degrees Fahrenheit. 
That's Ooh. seven degrees Celsius. I do a dash. My boot's full of water, but that's okay. My bike's All right. Gas stop number one. It's a good time to thank Langs Off Road from Dorchester, Ontario. I really appreciated their help over the weekend. They volunteered. I didn't even ask for it. And they were there with anything I needed except nice weather because it's raining. Sedgwick's MX. This is three kilometers in length, about just under two miles in this gravel pit. in this deep sand very well. See how I cut this inside corner too tight? I don't have the drive to get out. I gotta swing it wider. Keep the momentum through the corner instead of Nazi trying to push and drive out of that. I'm not gonna drive out of it. just do some moto practice. I just need more practice cornering. Like that. What is that? 22nd overall in this test. Not my best run. You know, some of the people may not have had the rain when they came through here. You know, that those are factors you can't control. But I didn't do myself any favors the way I was riding that one. We're halfway through the day at test number four, Blackberry. Five miles long, eight kilometers. Starting off a little rugged, we got some roots. Oh, and a jump. With that rain, things have gotten very slippery, so I'm keeping my tire touch very light, if that makes sense. Any roots, especially if they're at an angle or trees, very gentle touch to it. Don't hit it hard because there's not gonna be much traction on it. Like this right here. Lining it up, hitting it straight on, making sure that I'm not hitting roots at an angle. And if I am, I'm jumping them or keeping a very light touch to them. Ah, got cross rutted there. Oh yeah, jumping that across the rut, keeping it smooth. Oh man, I am launching it out here. What is so cool about the corduroy is that every test has its own little flavor. Each test is on someone else's property, and I, I don't know if it's the property owner or the club that cuts the track, but they've all got different styles to it. It's pretty cool. Down in this valley, it got ugly. Look at this in here. And there's a climb out of here, and it's exposed flat rock. I'm preparing for takeoff, but it's jammed, and I look, oh, there's a line over here. You can go this way. Bypass line. I wish I saw this sooner. I wasted a couple seconds waiting there. Whoa! Send in the drop. A lot of arrows here, I'm following them. This crossing was surprisingly deep. I was like, whoa! That was scary. The feeling of your front tire dropping into water and then it just keeps going, you're like, whoa! 
I'm submarining for the split second. Then you, then you hit bottom. You're like, okay, we're all right. I'm wiping my goggles. What's in the goggles? There's something inside of my goggles. It's the worst thing ever. Something bouncing around inside your goggles. It was annoying, distracting. This has got to be one of the most beautiful tests. These guys are opening up a secondary line. Where I shoot up the main line just like that. This is so cool in here though. comments in the last video everyone's really excited like man I gotta do this just to be clear you know if you sign up as a B rider or C rider you wouldn't do this test so you don't have to worry about like signing up and doing some of the crazier tests a lot of these are pro and expert only tests you get a shorter day as a as a beginner rider so don't feel like you know you have to be a really good rider to do the court anybody can get out here and they even have I think riding like a sportsman trail riding class or, or day. I think it's on Friday, maybe. Ah. That's one of those, do I go left or right? Let's just go, <laughs> go in the middle and hit the tree. Whoa, cutting inside with a hotline, straightening that right out. I don't know if I saw that or if it just accidentally happened like that. It might probably an accident. It's so snotty. You know, I gotta imagine we're, this is day two, we're 150 miles deep. A few more tests to go. Woo, baby. Physically, it's a lot. But mentally as well, I mean, you gotta be on point, on your game, laser focused for a long duration in all these tests. Blackberry took me 20 minutes and I finished 18th overall. The next test is the longest test of the day at 10.4 kilometers or six and a half miles. It's Morgan's Somerville. Real fast and open off the start. long ways of a corduroy bridge. Those are sketchy. Oh! I want to climb out of there. You know, I think everybody should be required to wear corduroys to the corduroy enduro. I'm going to wear them next year. Oh, there's a jump. Taking my time on these bridges. They're wet and it's slippery when wet. This gets into these pine trees. I remember this from last year. It is just epic. Absolutely epic shredding. My flow wasn't the best through here. Like I, I think I need to be on the RPMs more and feathering that clutch harder out of those corners. The bike isn't pulling. You know, I'm, I'm not on the RPMs enough. You know, the trying to power it. Instead, I need to be feathering the clutch, keeping the RPMs up. Well, you can get away with it a little bit because this is a 300, so. 
people can lug it, but you know, that is the downside, is that the 250, you keep it on the RPMs, you carry through these things better, you corner a little better. This went on for like 10 minutes, just turn after turn, it's killer, man, it's sweet. Then there's a split. Pro and expert only, and this takes you over across the road for an adventure. Woo, 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 woo. Rolling into the tunnel of love. It's a mob scene, there's riders everywhere. I gotta get through this. Come on, let's go, I'm losing time. And that's our buddy Reese there on the right with the poncho. That's a smart move. I'm gonna learn that here in a few seconds. Everyone is trying to go at once. There's water flying. And then I get soaked. Absolutely doused. It took my breath away. The water is freezing. Remember, it's 45 degrees out. And as I'm getting into this tunnel, it's scary. It's absolutely terrifying. It, I, it's so loud and you can't see, it's full of steam. This lone survivor's trying to get out. The water is deep. Oh. <laughs> this is what are we doing here? Holy crap! Absolute insanity! Absolute insanity! That was crazy. I think that they should make it pro only. Maybe you don't even have experts. Just I think it was too many people trying to go through at once. Craziness. Woo! I got confused here. The track. Now I realize what happened. Is this the right way? The trail joined up where the bypass was. So that's what got me all confused. So I was looking back. I'm like, I'm looking left and right. Where's the trail going? It's my own fault. I'm not even, I, I'm, I'm, I'm out of whack after that tunnel. I, I'm, I just got pooped out of a tunnel and I can't keep it straight. Yep. Russell Bobbitt gets around me as I'm confused here. Let's see if I can hold him. right here. I let the Goujon guy go by me. So it's right here. It's over. I finished 19th in my class. It took me four minutes to get through the tunnel. So it's, it's kind of tough luck with that. But the worst part was after getting completely soaked, we had a gas stop where we waited 15 minutes and then a 20 minute road ride absolutely freezing. I was hyperthermic, shivering to lead into Bernie's test here. Luckily, it's a shorter one. It's six kilometers long, 3.7 miles. It starts out technical, pretty tight.
enjoyed this test. I think it was just a little bit tougher. Slower pace test, you know, more technical. Whoa, whoa. smooth pace does better than trying to rip it harder. It's too technical to try to be shredding it because you're going to make mistakes. So a nice, even, controlled pace is beneficial, especially on something like this. Ready to rip! Had a decent run in this one, 15th overall in this test. D. So now we transfer over to the last test of the day, Big Baldy. Pro and expert only. I lied though, there is actually one more test for me. Pro riders at the end of the day have to do a final MX test. Stay tuned, that one's insane. <laughs> There was some excitement knowing this was the last test of the day. I was sending it a little bit and feeling good. Uh oh, mud hole. Sometimes it pays to slow down to go fast. You don't want to get stuck or take a bad line. This is a shorter test 5.4 kilometers, 3.3 miles. Oh, crossing this bridge in a big hill. It's Big Baldy, we're getting up it. I don't know if that's actually Big Baldy. Nasty in here, I'm trying to regain control, gotta stand up. I'm off balance a little and I'm having to sit. It's slowing me down. Such a cool place to be able to ride your dirt bike. Absolutely amazing. Uh oh, rock garden ahead. Pick through it pretty nicely. there. Hang on, it's a ride. Thank you. I finished 
13th overall on this test. Pretty good run. And there it is. I collect my finisher trophy. But that's not all. Okay, you have to put it in the impound. Okay. So I have to do the MX test. In spite of the liquid sunshine, it has been a record-setting and marvelous 68th edition of the Promation Corduroy Enduro. The 24 Pro Riders take off all at once. Rows of 10 based on your finishing order. I'm on the second row. We're about to begin. into Philip Cheney there. He got a little squirrely. That, this is a hairy start. Look how many riders are going. Whoa. It is madness. What's really interesting to watch is between Russell Bobbitt and Philip Cheney, right there in front of me, both of them, two seconds separated them apart after doing two days of racing. This is treated as another test, so whoever does two seconds better will determine who wins. So that's a battle between those two, interesting to watch. I couldn't even tell what was going on. I could barely see out my goggles. There's rain falling, sand is flying. We're doing three laps on this. nice in the loose, deep sand. Cumulative test time, 4.9 hours of racing over two days, 200 miles. The corduroy is a wrap. I finished 16th overall. Russell Bobbitt took the win overall over Philip Cheney there. I couldn't see it. Cam with a sixth place finish. Remember the battle in 2019? He had a killer run. Thank you guys for watching. It was a blast. I can't, I'm so excited. I want to go racing. I want to go racing again. Too bad the snow's coming. We're going to have to head south this winter, do some races. Thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you later.